Hello and welcome to Audio Codes Training Academy. This video tutorial demonstrates how to configure and capture a debug recording. Debug recordings are typically requested by audio code support to assist in troubleshooting activities. First, log into your Mediant device. Click the Troubleshooting button. In the navigation bar, expand the logging folder. Open the debug recording page. Here, you can configure the maximum duration for the debug recording in minutes. When this timer expires, the device automatically stops recording. Next, set the IP address of the PC or workstation that will capture the debug recording stream from the Mediant device. Note that UDP port 925 is already defined and must be open on your network firewall. In the interface name field, specify the IP interface through which the device will send the captured traffic to the debug server. By default, the device uses the IPv4 OAMP interface. Click apply to save these changes. To define filters, navigate to the Logging Filters page in the navigation tree and click New to add a filter rule. In the pop-up window, select the desired filter type from the drop-down menu. This allows you to restrict the data sent to the logging server. You can filter by specific trunks trunk groups, B channels, analog ports, IP groups, SIP interfaces, routing or classification rules, and even individual users. If a filter is selected, you must provide a corresponding value. For example, an IP group filter might use one for a single group. One dash three for a range. Or one comma three comma five for specific groups. For this example, we will leave the filter set to any to capture all data. Now, define the log destination. Selecting debug recording server uses the server we configured earlier. Syslog server uses the server defined in the logging settings. Local storage is used, for example, when the device generates call detail records to store them locally on the device. OVAC Quality of Experience sends SIP messages or Quality of Experience voice metric reports to OVAC. Next, select the log type to specify the types of messages to include in the log file. Signaling includes SIP signaling messages, syslog messages, call detail records, and internal processing messages. Signaling and media includes media, RTP, RTCP, T.38, along with associated signaling and syslog messages. SIP only includes only SIP messages. Finally, you can enable or disable the rule as needed. Multiple filter rules can be defined. Please be aware that debug recording impacts CPU utilization. Increased filter usage can slow down call processing. On the debug recording page, click start to begin the recording.
Wireshark is a popular utility for capturing the debug recording stream. Start Wireshark and select the network interface that will capture the data. To capture only the debug recording data, filter by UDP port 925. To view the debug recording messages, filter by ACDR. The device adds the header audio codes debug recording to each message. Remember to save the Wireshark capture for analysis by audio code support. After capturing the debug recording, it's good practice to remove any created filter rules and revert the logging server destination to its default setting. That's it. Thank you for watching.